Hey guys, so today we are going to study basic electricity. In basic electricity, there are uh, several portions that we need to cover. In this, uh, first of all, we will cover the basic things. Don't worry, we will cover all these topics, okay? But we have to cover the basic uh, things first. So in this, the basic thing is Ohm's law and power and energy. So first, we will cover Ohm's law, power and energy. Then, Kato's voltage and current law and their application in simple DC circuits. I mean, after finishing this, we can go to electrostatic, Coulomb's law and other things. Uh, so nothing to worry. We will cover all these portions. So first we will go to some basic units that you need to know before studying basic electricity. This uh, basic units, they may ask you, I mean in BSNL exam, pre in previous year question paper, they are some basic SI units. So uh, we will go through that and uh, after that we will go to this uh, Ohm's law and its application, power and energy, all these things. First of all, the SI units that you need to know are these things. Uh, first of all, I will tell you one formula, basic formula that you need to know. That is F is equal to MA. F is force and M is mass and A is acceleration. F is force and uh, Force uh, SI unit is Newton. It is also, uh, we can write it as M. Then mass uh, SI unit is kg and acceleration SI unit is a meter per, per second square. Okay, you had to know all these SI units. Uh, BSNL usually ask a few SI units. They may ask uh, what is the SA unit of force or what is the SA unit of mass, acceleration, such kind of questions they may ask. And last time, I guess they asked uh, one question like that. What is the SA unit of uh, resistance or something like that they asked last time. Uh, then the next one is power. Power is equal to work divided by time. This work, we can uh, say work or we can say as energy as well. So, energy divided by time is equal to power. So, power, SA unit of power is watts, W-A-T-T-S, watts. Then, energy, SA unit is joules. These are really important and you had to know this. And uh, here time is there, time SA unit is seconds. Then current is here, current SA unit is ampere. And the voltage, which is also known as electric potential difference, uh, SA unit is volt and resistance, SA unit is ohm, and this symbol is also as a representation of ohm symbol. So here, power is equal to work divided by time. It is a basic uh, formula that uh, we usually use. So energy is equal to P into T, that is power into time. So these are the things that uh, basic electricity things that you need to know. Okay. Uh, now we will go to Ohm's law. This is Ohm's law. Uh, the, de the definition, you don't need to study the definition because it is a multiple choice kind of questions. But it's between the ends of a conductor to the current flow flowing between them is a constant. So you have to just know the, I mean, the definition, that's it, okay? Provided the temperature does not change. So it is the most important thing. So that means, nothing but, I mean, if the conductor, conductor, okay, if its temperature varies, then uh, we cannot apply Ohm's law, okay? Because if the conductor's temperature varies, then uh, the I value will not be a constant. I mean, yeah. So, uh, the ratio of potential difference between the ends of a conductor to the current 
flowing between them is a constant. So it won't be a constant if the temperature varies. So Ohm's law won't apply. That is what you had to know from this. Here V divided by I is equal to constant. This constant is R, that is the resistance. Uh, this formula we can write like this or as well. I is equal to V by R. Uh, you know some basic mathematics, so you know how this, uh, this formula can write like this. Then V is equal to I R. That is also understood. Then R is equal to V by I. Okay. Uh, the formula, uh, this V by I is equal to R. You have to know the formula because they may ask some uh, problematic questions uh, from uh, Ohm's law. Okay. So, don't worry, we will cover it. And uh, one more thing that you need to know is electrical power. Power is equal to, uh, you have seen here like uh, power, power is equal to work divided by time. Here it is electrical power. Electrical power P, okay, is equal to V into I. And power unit is watts. So I have just written here watts. That's it. So uh, V is equal to IR you have seen here. So I have derived this like this IR into I, I square R. We can write like this. Okay. To find out the electrical power, I square, uh, we can apply this formula, I square R. So if you don't know the uh, the value of I, then uh, you can apply another formula, which is also derived from this, the same one. V is equal to IR. Instead of I, you can write uh, V divided by R. So, it is equal to V square R. Okay. So, even if you don't know the value of I, you can use this formula to know the power, the electrical power. And the SI unit of electrical power is watts. Okay. So, these are the things that you need to know from this. Uh, this is what Ohm's law is all about. Okay. So, this is the most important thing. You should not forget it. Provided the temperature does not change. So, if the temperature changes in the conductor, then Ohm's law will not be applicable. Okay? That is what you need to know from this. And you had to know the formulas as well. Then, electrical power, P is equal to I square R, V square, v square divided by R. These basic formulas you had to know. Then uh, electrical energy, that is E, E is equal to power into time, that we have seen already. Uh, so, in this uh, power, we can uh, write, uh, instead of power, we can write VI. That is what written over here, P is equal to VI. So, I have written here like VI into T, then uh, instead of V, I wrote I R into I T. So, I square R T is uh, one formula for this. And uh, V square divided by R into T is another formula for electrical energy. These formulas you had to know. They may ask some questions from electrical energy or electrical power. So, uh, if you know these formulas, you can apply it. And don't worry. These uh, questions may not be a com complicated kind of questions. They may directly ask some questions from this portion. So now we can go through some problems related to Ohm's law. A metal filament takes 0 0.3, this is ampere, okay, 0 0.3 ampere at 230 volts. If the voltage is reduced to 115 volts, Will the current be halved? Hal means will the current uh, will become half of the current that is taken before. Okay, explain your answer. Here the problem is like uh, if we, I mean, reduce the filament the filament's voltage from uh, 230 to 115. Uh, you can use your own logic. I mean, uh, 
if we reduce from 230 to 115, then the temperature of the conductor will decrease. So, here Ohm's law is not applicable. That is what I have written here. Uh, the answer is no. If the resistance of the circuit changes, Ohm's law is not applicable. I mean, when voltage is decreased from 230 volt to 115 volt, the temperature of the lamp filament will decrease. Therefore, Ohm's law is not applicable. That is what I said. Uh, this is what you had to know. These kind of questions uh, they may ask in uh, BSLN exam and other uh, exams as well, other uh, defense research related exams as well. They may ask this kind of questions. And the next one is, uh, that you need to know is solve this problem and find the value of V. Here they have given the resistance 3K ohm and uh, I, I is current, okay, is equal to 0 0.1 MA, okay, so we had to find the value of V, V is equal to IR according to Ohm's law that we know, so I is equal to 0 0.1 MA, MA is actually milli ampere, so we had to come, uh, we had to convert it uh, into the SI unit, SI unit of I is ampere. So, if we convert milliampere to ampere, we have to divide the 0 0.1, we have to divide this uh, with, uh, uh, with, I mean, we have to multiply this with uh, uh, 1000, so that you will get the answer 0 0.0001, okay? So, after this, uh, uh, here they have written uh, resistance is equal to 3 K O. So the SI unit of uh, resistance O. So 3 K O means 3 kilo O. So 3 into 1000 is the answer. So 3000 O is the answer over here. Here, sorry, I mean uh, in I, 0 0.1 dividing by 1000. So you will get 0 0.0001 and here 3 K ohm. So it is 3 <coughs> kilo ohm. So 3 into 1000. So 3000 ohm is the answer. So here we have defined I. I is equal to, we have written, uh, we have converted both this with the standard SI unit. That is 0 uh, A and O. So we can directly multiply this 0 0.0001 into 3000. So the answer of this is 0 0.3 V. V is what? Voltage. Okay. So we got the answer. And the next one is one uh, question. Uh, this one uh, I guess you guys can easily do it. And uh, you guys can uh, think and do this carefully. This kind of questions uh, they may ask for exam. So you can think and uh, you can do this. I am not going to read it. You guys need to read it. I mean, uh, if it is really hard to read, I will read once. The following are the details of load in a circuit connected through an energy meter. 2. Fluorescent 125 watts each working for 2 hours per day. 6 lamps of 40 watts each working for 4 hours per day, 1000 watt heater working for 3 hours per day. If each unit of energy costs 70 paisa, what will be the electric bill for a month of 30 days? Um, I guess you guys can uh, answer, the, answer the this question. Here what you need to do is uh, like uh, uh, two fluorescence is that one hundred twenty five. So two into one hundred twenty five into two. So you will get one day's uh, usage of the first one, and the second one is also you have to do the same, and the third one also you have to do the same. Anyway, we will check the answer now. The answer is total uh, weightage of a tube is two fifty watts. Total weightage of a lamp is two forty watts. 
energy consumed by the appliance divided by per day. Okay, 250 into 2, 2 hours, no? And uh, 240 into 4 hours plus 1000 uh, into 3. Uh, here they have uh, something like, uh, yeah, heater. He, heater need 1000 watt. So 1000 into, uh, they usually use it for 3 hours. So 3. Uh, so when you when we sum all these, we will get an answer like 4 and 4460. This is actually 4460 watts. W-A-T-T-S. Sorry, I didn't write uh, the unit uh, here. You had to write it, okay? So, 1000 watts is equal to 1 unit. So, we will get an answer like 4.46 unit. So, 4.46 unit is per day. So, we had to multiply this 4.46 with that. Then we had to multiply this uh, uh, with uh, 0 0.7. 0 0.7, actually 0 0.7 rupees. 70 paisa. 70 paisa is 0 0.7 rupees. So, when we multiply it, uh, we will get an answer which is rupees 93.66. So, this is the answer. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, next uh, video that we are going to uh, study is about Kircher's Law and I will I will upload that video very soon. So, I hope you no, now know the basic uh, uh, units, SI units of all these things and uh, now you know the formula of power, energy and uh, now you know what is Ohm's law is all about. Uh, you had to watch this again and again if you have any doubt and if you have some more doubt you can uh, write some comment and i will reply you definitely so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you like this channel